I haven't got a notion where we are now. I haven't got a clue. And I know I, I will openly admit it. I haven't a clue where I am. It says we're 12 kilometers away from this place still. I mean, that's a, 12 kilometers is a, is a long way on these roads. 12 kilometers is a big distance. There's a sign there as well for for the for the for the industry, and uh, I always look out for those because when you will see a sign for industrial area, it usually means that it's safe to go down this road in a truck. That would be the theory behind it, that it's actually safe to go down this road in a truck because it's signposted for the industrial area, which means it's not going to send trucks down a road that they're not able to go on. You know, so that's a plus. Like I, 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 in the absence of a proper sat nav, I really need to be looking at my maps, and I didn't do that, and I need to be doing it.
now here we are here we are well there goes Peter and Peter is loading in Amsterdam tonight so that's his job done right this is us finished here in uh, Harswinkel in Germany after 200 meters turn right very nice day here crisp would be a word I would use Turn to describe right. it. I think it's fairly straightforward. You know, as I said, I said it earlier on. It's an awful lot easier to do this job in the daytime because you can see hazards before you're on top of them. Whereas at night time, even though you have your headlights, you really are kind of at a disadvantage. I have never used, I didn't realize that there's a sat nav on the Transix and I should have been using it along with the Google Maps. So far the two Google Maps and the Transix are actually concurring. Well, the truck nav is telling me to go straight on here but I'm going to turn right. Because sign says Dortmund this way.
road. So was he, look. After 300 minutes. He changed his mind at the last minute. BBL Logistics changed his mind at the last minute. Rerouting. He did the same thing there back there. He was he came out and he wasn't happy enough to be in out onto the road. He had to be in lane number two and he just straight out in front of me, you know, but you get people like that. There's a stow, there's a stow which means a traffic jam on that other road. And if I ever wanted to be convinced of anything that I'm staying on this road, that was it. Now I don't know what's ahead of us here, it could be roadworks or anything, I don't know. But I don't care. I'm committed now anyway. He's all over the place. Look at him, he's in and he's out. He's trying to overtake and he's he's pulling in and pulling out and a clown now, that's what that is, that's a clown driving that. An effing clown. We're into no overtaking now for trucks. So, we'll all go now at the speed of the slowest truck in front of us. Problems for me overtaking there, like it just. And the truck nav's trying to bring me off there again on this exit here, and I have the notion of it because, according to Mr. Google here, after 500 meters exit motorway. According to Mr. Google here, I don't need to be coming off the motorway for another 53 kilometers. It says to me, stay on this Ned. It says, stay on this until you get to the 40. And then you can turn right then for Venlo and Duisburg. Exit motorway. I don't know why it's insisting on bringing me off there because I haven't a notion of After it. After 300 meters, bear left. It's trying to send me down for Frankfurt on the A45. Not a hope in hell. Bear left. Not a hope. After 500 meters, bear right. Not a hope. I just brought the EV, uh, that's the exposure, down by a half. Um, I thought it was a little bit too bright. No, I could be wrong. But I have it down anyway. Should we see what that looks like now when I, when I have the footage done? the footage taken it's gone a bit cloudy now it was really nice and sunny earlier on but if it gets sunny again that would be a better one i was pretty certain i was going to get sent for the deutsche post into cologne but i'm loading in liege instead that's fine whatever i don't mind i don't mind i don't mind at all I might go into the next uh, service area and just have a quick look at my map sure see what it's like sure I don't think there's any big panic on me. Because I have a funny feeling when I heard of Trans Transmec. Transmec are, are an Italian freight company. And they have obviously have, uh, have a depot in most countries. But if I'm loading in Transmec for Ireland, and they say you're loading on Friday, it'll be Friday evening when you're getting out of there. It won't be Friday morning. And it certainly won't be Thursday. Yes. 
to sit behind him, you know? Do you understand what I mean? I could, I could go overtaking him. But, like, if cars coming up on, on lane number two and lane number three doing 160 kilometers an hour, I mean, that's... Ah, oh, sure, I'll go. I'll give it a go. I think I'm going quicker than him. And there's no overtaking restrictions at the moment, so I think I'll just go and do it. Not talk about it, go and do it, Ned. Don't talk about it, do it. sure the road is not as busy as it normally would be on a Thursday um, because for the simple fact that it's the 27th of December this guy is going a bit slow as well so I'm going to be able to take him too I don't like this because I feel I feel exposed when I'm out here you know do you understand what I mean I feel I feel like you know I, I'm going to pull out at the wrong time and it's going to be police or something coming not that I'm doing anything wrong, but you're, you're drawing attention to yourself. And the best way to get on in Germany is not to draw attention to yourself under any circumstances because you have the bag men, you have the police, and you have the, the customs, the Zoll, Z-O-L-L, you see them everywhere. And like if you piss them off, they just decide, hey, I'm just gonna pull in on him. I'm just gonna check his documents. You know, they mightn't think that you've done anything wrong, but the fact that you were out driving in the middle lane and there was a queue of traffic behind you, that might piss them off enough just to stop you, just to check your documents. And it's then that something is found that the problem arises. Now this Polish tanker is going slow as well. He's doing about 85 kilometers an hour as well. I have enough to get by him without without taking a half an hour to it. So it's 24 kilometers to our junction. The truck sack nav says 18 kilometers, so it's obviously a different different entry or exit point. But I, I, I really look. I'm really looking for Aachen. The Aachen border is where I want to be at. So in other words, Cologne, Aachen, they're right beside each other. So I'll follow for Cologne or I'll follow for Aachen. I don't mind, either of those will do me fine. I just much prefer to stay in the left lane if I can because go on, off you go, like, you know. We still have another 167, 167, 170 kilometers to go. Um, so that's a good, that's a good two hours, two and a half hours. Well, not two and a half hours, maybe two hours and 15 minutes. Quite a lot of cars joining here now from the slip road to my right. And the deal with them is like, if you can't get out in front of me, get out behind me. You're all driving cars that are capable of doing naught to 60 in about, I don't know, 20 seconds or whatever. So don't dilly dally on the slip road. And I don't care whether you're in Germany or whether you're in Belgium or whether you're in Holland or Denmark or Netherlands. Don't dilly dally on a slip road. If you can't get out in front of someone, get out behind them. And don't try and come out on top of trucks. Now the, the only advantage I would have driving in Germany and driving in any country in Europe where they drive on the right as opposed to us on the left that I have an advantage on the slip roads here because I'm actually sitting on top of the slip roads here so it's not like me kind of looking to see is a car coming out on top of me I can actually physically see them here and that is one advantage that you have driving a right hand drive truck in Europe that you can actually watch these people as they come out because they're right beside you The disadvantage is, if you're on a national road or you're on a single track road and you're, you're caught behind a vehicle like a truck that's going slowly, in order for you to get by that truck, you have to bring the whole body of your truck 
out onto the other side of the road because you can't see. If you're driving a left-hand drive truck, you just need to stick yourself out a little bit to have a look and see. And then you know, excuse me, you know then if you're clear to go. You know, whereas on a right-hand drive truck, you can't. You have to drop back and have a look from a distance because if you're right behind it or close enough to it, you're not going to be able to see past it. too hard there now and it's my own fault. After 500 meters go ahead. So this is where I'm parked. Transmec. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Now, I'm here since yesterday afternoon and these groupage places are always the same, you know. Um, you'll be out of here on Friday evening when all their stuff is in from all over the place that they want to send. So it could be six or seven o'clock this evening before I get out of here. Could be. Um, so that's it. So I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk. Uh, there's a, a supermarket, 15 minutes walk from here. Uh, what's going on, Ned? Uh, are, we, are we getting loaded or what? Um, Billy, I don't actually know. Um, you know what these uh, transport places are like, Billy? They'll wait until the, everything is in in the warehouse and then they'll load me. I'll probably be 6 o'clock this evening before I get out of here. Oh, jeez, Ned, you have to drive all night. Yes, I understand that, Billy. But what can I do? It's just the way it is. Well, I think that's terrible, Ned. Who's that? Oh, what are you doing here, Santa? I thought you were gone. Get out, Santa! Is that Santa, Ned? Uh, yes, uh, he, he's up. He, he's hiding up at the top on the top shelf there. Blaine had I told him to go away. Oh, I know that, Mo, but I have to come back and and and, and have a word with Ned. Uh, well, what, what's the problem, Santa? Well, I don't know, but I went home for my Christmas dinner, and my wife, Mrs. Claus, told me that my dinner was in the bin. She said that you and Mo had been up and that she had a few drinks and she can't remember much, but that she says that she's leaving me and that she's going to marry you, Ned. <laughs> Blade hell, Ned. Ah, uh, you're a good one, all right. Uh, Mo, um, that's nothing to do with me at all. Uh, you heard him, all right. You, 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 sn you snuck off with her, Ned, you did. Uh, I didn't sneak off with her anywhere. Jeez, Ned, you're an awful man. That's a married woman we're talking about here. I, I know that, Billy. I, I don't. I don't remember anything about that. Yeah, bleeding do. I remember you. Now, nah, Ned, you're some boy, all right. Jeez, now that's a terrible thing to do. If I, if, if I, I never do that on my, uh, on my anime, you know. I, I, I'm such a loyal husband, you know. Jeez, Ned, you're an awful man. Poor old Santy. Well, I'm very upset. I have to say, uh, Ned, that was a very nasty thing to do to me. Uh, well, Santa, like you can't complain because you're gone. You're gone too too much, Santa. Someone's got to look after Mrs. Claus. <laughs> I tell you, looked after her, all right, Ned. Uh, yes, I did look after her, Mo. Oh, oh, yeah, Jesus, uh, Ned, Ned. You know, I don't know. I don't know what to say to you, Ned. You're an awful man, Mo. Isn't he, Mo? Yeah, bleeding bad, all right. <laughs> Fair play to you, Ned. Don't mind him. Oh, good afternoon. It's Friday, uh, the twenty eighth of December. Um, just to give you a quick update, I arrived here yesterday afternoon, um, about two or three o'clock. And I was to be loading this morning, but you know what these groupage places are like? They're a bit slow to load and it'll probably be six o'clock this evening at the earliest before I get out of here. Uh, so my plan is up to Liverpool tomorrow evening and I'm shipping my trailer to Liverpool. I thought I was going to be going home, um, but I'm not. Uh, I'm being sent out another trailer for Italy. Uh, I don't know when, whether it's coming out. I hope it's coming out on sea truck. Or P and O. I hope I don't have to go to Hollyhead for it, but 
If it's going to be in Hollyhead, I'll just make go to Hollyhead. Now, as you know, uh, Tuesday is a holiday because it's New Year's Day. So I, I would assume at this stage it'll probably be Wednesday before I'm tipping initially. Now, I don't even know, haven't been told yet what part of Italy I'm going to. Uh, it could be around the north and it could be down south. I have no idea. I'm assuming it's pharmaceuticals. Uh, so I don't know whether I'm going to be able to run or not. Probably not going to be able to do it. Um, but it depends. I'll just, whatever the company says, I'll do. So that's the update. And um, I'll check it with you along the road. But, I mean, it's going to be nighttime driving tonight. If I leave here at 6 o'clock, I'm going to get up. I don't know, I get up the length of Birmingham or somewhere, maybe I get that far, you know, I don't know, it depends on the, the traffic's light, I might get a little bit farther. Um, but I'll hardly make it to Liverpool, I won't make it to Liverpool now tonight, because I'm in Liège, and I think I'm about I'm an hour and a half, two hours from Brussels, you know, and that's, it's not gonna, I'm not going to get up. I get I get across tonight, all right, into the UK, and I get up the road as far as I can. Um, so that's the update, anyway. Um, Mo and Billy are happy about it, anyway. I, I, I don't know, I've kind of mixed feelings about it, really, you know. Um, as I said, I thought I was going home, but you know, when when I said to uh, the company, "Look, I'm available," you know, for, for over Christmas, like this is over Christmas, so no complaints, you know. I'll be nice to get down there again. I haven't been down there for about two years, but uh, I'll definitely be going home after this. Now, when I've this trip done, I'll, I'll be going home. But hopefully, I'll be able to get some decent footage. I'm moving the cameras around. That camera you're looking at me now is is the Hero Six Black. I'm very disappointed with the sound quality on that. Um, I had it here, you see. That's where I had it uh, on that perch there, and it's perfect because you get a great view of the of the road ahead and the cab as well. But the sound quality is so bad that it sounds like I'm miles away when I'm talking to it. Um, so I'm going to put the the hero. I'm going to put this other camera, this one here. This other camera is going to go on. So I'll show you exactly where it where it goes. It goes on here. I just see the clip it there. That's where you're getting that view from there. It clips on there, and it's a perfect place for it. And there's a higher one. Uh, but I prefer the lower one because it's it's more at sort of eye level, um. So that's going to be there because that's a there's a better uh, voice there's a better voice recorder in that than there is in the new camera. I don't understand it. It's very bad, bad, bad altogether. And to make it proper, you're going to have to get extension microphones and all sorts of stuff. So I, I'm not sure if I'm going to bother. And um, I just switched them around. I'll put this one in the window. Anyway, listen, that's the update um, on Friday, the 28th of December. And uh, I'll catch up with you later on. Maybe I sure will hopefully be leaving here at around six o'clock and um, so it's going to be a nighttime drive not going to be an awful lot to see really but sure we'll catch up along the way ciao ciao all right so um i finally finally have my load on and this is going to transmec in dublin blanchestown um have the seal which is going to go on now on the padlock so I'm just going to pull her off the bay, close up the doors, and I can tell you, I have never been as glad to get a, to get moving. Honestly, never been as glad to get moving in my entire life. Seriously, it's just my brain is melted now at this stage. Um, so I'm going to keep the papers in the cab here in case I get stopped or I want to look at them in Calais when I get up there. Um, but I'm going to put this padlock and I'm going to put on this seal now. And then we'll be on our way. Be back in a second. Oh, there we go. I'm telling you, honest to God, I've never ever in my life been as glad to get out of somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ, Ned, you're some boy to spill shit, you know that? Unfucking real, I'm unbelievable. I should I should I should I should change my name from Ned to Spill. That's what I should call myself, Spill. Not Ned, Spill. I'm unreal. I'm unreal. I'm out of my own when it comes to spilling. Water, tea, you name it, I'll spill it. You name it. If it's any kind of liquid, I'll spill it. You can be guaranteed. I'm unreal. That's not an exaggeration, I'm telling you seriously. 
I'm out on my own when it comes to spilling. Now, uh, right, 10 past seven. I don't really mind the local time. It's 10 past six, because that's what I'm headed to the UK. So, come on, come on, come on, give it to me. I'm just gonna print in my, um, God, this is very slow. Head northeast on 4 e Avenue toward 3 e Avenue. Oh, God. So we're away, that's it. So we're out of here. And I can tell you now, not before time. I have never been as sick of sitting around as I have been this week. Right, we're on the move. It's very, very badly signposted. Very, very badly signposted. I thought I'd miss my turn there. As it turns out, I hadn't. But I was sure I had. And there's no queue here as well, which is great. It's just as quiet as it was the last time I came down here. This is a brilliant idea, the way they have this done here with the lanes. They just filter whoever they want, you know, a certain amount of vehicles at a time. So here's P&O ferries. Like this can literally hold hundreds, hundreds of trucks. And it's letting me, it's letting me straight through. Well, when I say it's letting me straight through, it's letting me straight through into the next phase. And the next phase is the scanner. There's no queue here, which is wonderful. You know, 
I know Stephen McKeever would always post when he arrives in the port he'd say Calais clear or Calais fucked and what he means by that is that the place is stuffed with lorries Number four, whatever that is. Oh yeah, okay. No, 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 it's just ordinary groupage, no hazardous, no. So this is it. This is P and O ferries. Are you all? Thank Merci. you. Merci. Au revoir. Lane 32. I had the same problem the last time. Gave me the same lane the last time. All right, Hello. you do. Just drive in through it, is it? Yeah, you just have to wait. Once the lights go okay. green, you'll be waved in. All right. Never okay, cheers. joke what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm, I'm stuck at the border control um, I see they're inside there searching another truck they have the back doors and everything open on another truck and I think this is a lot of the time when you when you get the when you get the, uh, the, the the test and there's nothing like there's nothing there you know what I mean they shouldn't be they shouldn't be doing this this is just a, this is just more of the nonsense that they go on with you know, which is more the nonsense that they go on with. Or the delay nonsense. You know. I don't have anything on board I shouldn't have. I've already been checked. I've already been checked. So, it's 
just horse shit. That's all it is. You know? Horse shit. Here's another guy. Look at him driving straight through. Look. Straight through. He goes straight through. And I'm stopped. This is fucking ridiculous. I wouldn't mind if there was no one in there. Fair enough. Come on. But to fucking to put me in here. To, 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 to land me up in a fucking queue. You know what I mean? I could miss my fucking boat now over this. Fucking arseholes. It's completely unnecessary. Completely unnecessary. You don't want to open it, no? What? Okay, okay. 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 No, 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 stop this, please. Okay. Well, that's an interesting one anyway so I had the the body the body cam on when I was outside and uh, your man said to me oh you cannot film you cannot film <laughs> so this is us on the boat practically empty ship Spirit of France I'm going to 
gonna do what I'm gonna do is um excuse me what I'm gonna do is uh, go up as far as go up clear the M25 I'm gonna go I'll go up onto the M40 and then I'm going to bed uh, because it'll be half three at that stage be half three in the morning at that stage and that's late enough so I'm just plugging in my phone yeah I'm not st I'm not staying up any later than that once I got cl once I got clear the uh, the m40 or I should say the m25 because that's where the big problem will be tomorrow like you know I mean I could go into Ash for truck stop and take 11 hours off there but all that's going to happen is I'm going to get up as far as the M25 and I'm going to spend an hour sitting in traffic on it and I don't want to do that so I'm going to do that tonight I'm going to avoid it um, plus the fact that I've I've six, uh, six I've only six so I've three hours and three hours and 46 minutes driving done so I just say nearly four hours driving done now I could do another four and a half hours. <gasps> well, that would be half five in the morning stopping. And getting up again at half four in the afternoon and driving on in the dark. I'll oh, fuck that. So, uh, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'll stop at half three and set off again at half two. Um... Uh, let me see. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. very thirsty Ugh. I've forgotten how nice that lemon water is but you just I just I just get a lemon and a, a proper lemon and I slice it slice it put it into a glass or a plastic container oh <sighs> I'm shook now I'll tell you I'm shook You know, the problem with falling asleep like that on a boat is that, and it's happened to me before, I fell asleep on a P&O boat once, coming back from coming back from Dover to Calais, or from Calais to Dover, and uh, I had a, a bag between my legs on the ground with a bottle of whiskey in it and a bottle of whatever else it was. Uh, when I woke up, it was gone. Someone had seen I was fall someone had seen I fell asleep and they just came in and put their hand down and picked up my bag and walked away with it. And that's what happens. Oh just getting off this now. Took for ages, took for ages. Took too long. All quiet here in Dover, I'd say anyway. Very few cars. Place deserted, really.
never know what berth these things are going to land into, you know, so. It's nice and dry though, I have to say. Nice and dry. God, it is empty. It's so empty here. It's only about literally all the lines are empty. Never seen it as quiet. Thought there would have been more freight traffic, but obviously not. There'll be no delays here now getting out of here. us out. So it's a grand dry night and that'll suit me now fine. That'll be easier on me now for driving. The fact that it's not, you know, lashing rain or anything. Oh, shut up. The fucking thing drives me fucking mental. <laughs> drive you mad that fucking thing I'll have to get into the habit of as soon as I start the engine turn that thing off because it would do your nib in <coughs> nothing coming even nothing even coming into Dover there I'm on my own I like that the Lone Ranger in the morning you know what I mean so I wouldn't expect to see many people around the weather's been fantastic like when you consider like it's December you know, no ice and no snow. It's a gift. Oh, wow. So, 
I'm finally here. Um, I I pushed it all the way up as far as uh, the services. The first service is on the M5. If you come up the M40, if you come up the M40 and you turn up onto the M5 heading for Birmingham, the first service is there is where I am now and it's where I wanted to be. Now I don't know whether I'm going to get disturbed or not. The likelihood is that I will. Um, but it, I won't get as disturbed as badly as I would if I was in Warwick because that's a that's a that that place you get tortured down there. So yeah, it's what time is it now? Five nine minutes past five in the morning. Now I I that was a hard shunt. Now um, to get up here was hard. It was hard, and I felt like stopping uh, several times. I felt like stopping and dropping the head and just going to bed. But ah, uh, look at it's done now. I'm here. It's the main thing. So. I'm going to take my, my time off here and then I'm going to move on up. Um, to see how I'm going to get on up the road tomorrow. I have to go to Liverpool to P&O Ferries first, drop this trailer and then I have to swing around then to sea truck and lift my other one. And then get back down the road as far as I can tomorrow night. It's hard going, it's hard going now. I've been as well pleased now to get on the P&O tomorrow night and go home but... There you go, it's what I signed up for, so I'll say good night. Oh gonna have one beer and then I'm gonna go to bed. And hopefully I'll get some sleep. So chat to you tomorrow. Ciao ciao.